So I'm gonna section right above that parietal ridge area. So this little uh, curve of the head right here, that's the parietal ridge. So I comb that hair back and then I'm gonna draw a line straight back, just like that, nice horizontal line. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb this hair up and over right at that crown area. And I'm gonna draw another horizontal line across mid crown. Now we've got a corner and I'm gonna comb this hair now forward because that's how I'm gonna part it. And when I stand in front of him, I can really see kind of with my thumb where I want that end point to be. So I can see this end point here. I hold that with my thumb. And then when I wanna balance it, I can hold my thumb right there. And then when I turn him around and I decide where I wanna comb this hair forward to, I know at about what point I wanna hit. That'll get us close. It's not like it works perfectly every single time, but it gets you close so that when you comb this all up, you're not completely unbalanced on the top of the head. Twist the top up and I'll throw a couple clips in just to hold it in place. Next move is to work horizontally with our wide comb. I'm gonna scoop up the hair and remove that bolt. You have to understand when you're cutting clipper over comb, you're basically creating small little graduated areas as you work up the head. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this up kind of tight to the top of the head. Now I do wanna blend in the back, so I don't wanna go too tight all the way around. I like a slight little gradual uh, build up right there. So we bring the hair back because I wanna work quickly. I don't really care if I get everything in this, especially when I'm trying to just get the bulk out of the hair. So I'll lift it up and I'll just start getting the hair shorter as I work up horizontally. Now this isn't the, the final length, guys. So what I like to do is just go through it quickly with a couple processes and start working my way down almost like chiseling. So then I get a little bit closer. All right, so I'm gonna work my way back, scooping out like this, and then working diagonal back on the head shape. As we move into the back of the head is this crown area. I do not wanna shave this all the way up to this mid crown. You see that happen, then this starts to cascade over. It doesn't look right. To me, it looks a little bit undone. So a little triangle. I point the tip of that triangle to the occipital bone, just like that, diagonal back line, and I'll twist it up. So now I go in with my clipper guards. I go in one and a half guard here, and I'm gonna fully open that up to make it the longest point. So you can see when we adjust this back and forth, see how that makes it shorter, and this makes it longer. We wanna go the longest guard, and I'm just gonna work in here right along the edges. So I'll just flip my wrist out, to work around the ears, get the sideburns a little bit. And take the back length out. So now, obviously, this, I'm going to cut into it a little bit, soften it up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a diagonal back parting, just like this, hold it in my hand like this, and I'm gonna take the tri-razor. I can see this length underneath, and that's about what I wanna match up with. And I just glide right through and cut it nice and short. Diagonal back, bring this over, to that section over top of the previous, slide and glide that through. We got that weight, it starts to go diagonal back. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. We're right here, and now I'm gonna slide and glide the tri-razor through. You could bring all that hair over and then go with your 25 texture just to remove a little bulk and hit it right there. It takes out 25%. That lightens up the back if you've got somebody with thick hair. If somebody with thin hair, don't do this. Nice little buildup of weight in the back. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my sections just like this, take a section, bring it back, cut it right across here in the back. Comb the hair over, bring this hair over to me, and I'm just gonna take the 100% cutting side and just work my way across the top. And that'll start to build up the weight in the back, but it's nice and soft because we're doing it with a razor. Now, if you wanted to do it with scissors, you could do that as well, and I'll show you guys Maybe the difference there, just like this, back to me, and I'll point cut across the top. That'll give you a similar result. All right, right here, you can see, it's still got quite a bit of volume, quite a bit of length. Some people really like that. I have a couple clients that like to keep it nice and long in the front like that. I'm gonna blow this dry and then give it a little bit of style and then we're gonna cut into it with a little point cutting. I'm gonna show you guys a couple tricks with the tri-razor and then you know, we'll go from there. So 
Couple tips here. I like to take the brush, add some uh, tension and kind of hold this hair up. And what that'll do is allow me to hit it with the blow dryer just like this and allow that heat to make the hair stand. I haven't put any product in the hair yet. And then once I get the style kind of looking in the direction I want it to be, then that's when I'll, you know, kind of stop the blow dry. But you can see it's got tons of volume already. Uh, nice little flow to it, but it does feel a little bit heavy in certain areas, which is what I like to see uh, so I can go in and, and kind of take care of that. So now how do you take a shape that looks like this to have kind of more of a shape to it than just being like this? You got somebody with thicker hair or curly hair. This is actually a really fun technique for that as well. I take the hair just like this, horizontal section, comb the rest forward, Velcro clip, just place it holds everything out of the way. If you wanna hold it even more, you just slide it in. Now I can take this hair and go mid shaft, 25 texture. So just like this, pop it in, and I'll just remove a good amount of weight. You can also do that with a texturizing scissor. I just really love the versatility and using a razor in my haircuts. So that pops through, gives some texture into the haircut and also removing some of that weight. Again, I'll do it one more time because I don't want to do it too close to the front. I like to keep the front all sort of one length. See how it starts to, now it's like a little bit fuller and then just gets a little sleeker towards the back. What's another thing that happens with this haircut? This front can kind of fall down. So depending on which way they want to wear it, you could always cut into it a little bit. They're going to wear it off to this side. Sometimes I'll just come into this corner here and I'll take this hair and I'll just soften it. I can use 25 texture so I don't cut everything and just kind of soften through it so that that starts to lay a little bit nicer and it doesn't flop down as much. Because we cut everything with a razor, it doesn't perfectly blend right here. So you could either do scissor over comb, which is what I'm gonna do, or you could do clipper over comb. Even don't be afraid to go in a little bit of point cutting. So now we can finish it off a little bit of Barber's Classic. Very light hold. And I'll start in the back, working the hair through and then slowly start working my way to the front because you want to get the bulk of that product off of your hands before you hit the front of the head. 